Some skaters take to the ice as a duck to water. Others just tumble to it after a while. Though the learners might feel that they've fallen on hard times, serious accidents are very rare. There's a nice nurse anyway. And could you imagine a more graceful performance? It's the very essence of grace. A symphony of pretty girls with short skirts and handsome men with long looks. The poetry of motion on ice. Good skaters are very fussy about their skates, and at the rink there's a special shop where every sort of adjustment can be made while you wait. A perfect performance depends a great deal on the setting of the blade to the skater's individual needs. A skater gets to know his skates as a golfer his clubs, or a bulls player his woods. Not only must the skates be right, the ice must be that way too. The top must be as smooth as the slate of a billiards table. And this is the tractor that smooths the surface, that speeds the blade, that skims the ice, that lures the feet that come to the pool. In proper condition, the ice is about two inches thick, and it needs eight miles of piping to keep it piping cold. Enter the Brush Brothers. In perfect rhythm, they sweep away the top ice that has been shaved off by the tractor. Their new brooms certainly sweep clean. The second part of the brush routine. It's almost like a military movement, but of course, without the Sergeant Major's icy blast. The old surface is shoveled off and a fresh one sprayed on. In a few moments, a completely new ice floor will be ready to please the most particular patrons. You can see how the new surface freezes as it's laid. When he started out as a trick skater, he was on tenterhooks. Now he's on stilts. And if you've never... Don't. It's the easiest ankle breaker ever invented. Between public sessions, they practice making jumpers. Here's one, for instance, who just jumps for joy. It's here, too, that the candidates for the amateur championships rehearse their little piece before the big show. This is Marion Davies, who is third in the figure skating championship of Great Britain. Everybody who is anybody at all comes to Wembley to prove it. All the nicest figures in figure skating show them off.
skating champions show what can be done with a little teamwork, gliding and twirling, almost floating over the ice. They demonstrate what is the most graceful of all sports. They're the perfect partners in what somebody once called majesty of movement. stars take the ice. Daphne Walker, Jill Lindsay, Cecilia College, Bridget Shirley Adams, and Olive Robinson. Here's a demonstration what in skating parlance is called a split jump and a cross foot spin. Now a one and a half toe south shaw into a broken leg sit spin with the head back. Whew. Well now that you know what they call it, you should find it easier to do. Now it's the turn of that remarkable young woman, Cecilia Colley, who has been figure skating champion of Great Britain since 1935 and is still the title holder. She is demonstrating a top and axle post. Under the spotlight is another clever girl performer. This graceful young star of the ice is demonstrating a lutz and a variety of spins. Those evolutions that turn the spinner into a sort of human top. With the spot making her a shimmering target, she puts up a grand show. A perfect example of grace, poise and balance. Now they've rolled out the barrels. A jumper takes the air, and very nearly the last barrel. That touchdown on the other side is as dangerous as it's clever. But here's a perfect clearance. Have a fun, too. You might even call it horseplay. Here's the favorite in the ice stakes, well backed and well padded. Show him a gate, and he's certain to go back for more. What he can't get over, he'll go through. That's the sort of horse he is. Swing it, Stiffy, swing it. That's the idea. This is the right way to do it. Are you paying attention, Stiffy? Now you try. Oh, well, you're like us. We can't help falling for her either. If it hurts, tell her. Now you see what happens when a horse takes to rink. Mm -hmm. 